Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If I feel, if I feel, I feel. But if I sound a bit nasally, if I cough, um, my hay fever has a fever. My hay fever has hit hard this week. It's been a journey. It's been a while, a wild ride. What is that? Oh, okay, it's just the chair. Um, yeah, that's why I sound a bit bunged up. This is actually the best part of the week, even though. I don't sound it but it's been it's been pretty bad um this week but yeah that is not what today's video is about hi welcome to today's video um today is a Clark's village come shop with me because I was recently down in that area I went to Wells recently with a friend just to stay oh well for a couple of nights we went down there never been to Wells before um and I wanted to have a look around, see what it looks like, because it's quite quaint. Um, and I knew Clark's Village was not that far away. It's like a 15 minute drive from there. So went down there bright and early on the Friday morning. Um, and if you don't know what Clark's video Village is, it's basically an outlet centre in the UK. It is not like Vista Village level, um, which if you're a frequent flyer with the channel, you'll know it's one of the places I go on the regular because it's close to me. Yeah, and Clark's Village is not on that level. It's more on par with a, um, I've done a come shop with me around London designer outlet. It's more on that level. Um, but we are going to go around today to see what they've got, what stores they've got, what um, the vibe is. I am filming this after the fact that I've been. I went quite, like, it was a week ago today I was in Clark's Village. Um, if I'm shiny, it's the hottest day of the year. Again, today it's like 29, 8 degree, 28, 29 outside. And it is now 7 o'clock in the evening. So there you go. And we're having a scorcher throughout the week. Um, spoiler, I did also buy something while I was there. So stay tuned to the end of the video after the come shot with me to have a look to see what that is. But without further ado, if you're not already, please take a moment to subscribe. We'd love to have you on the channel. We do lots of come shot with me's hauls, too good to go bags, food hauls, vlogs, sometimes style videos, so if that's your kind of jam then definitely hit subscribe so you won't miss a video and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. But without further ado, let's have a look around Clark's Village in Street in Somerset. So here we go into Clark's Village, we're in car park one I believe, and first point of call is next clearance or next outlet. Um, they call it on different things in different places that the tags have next outlet i think they must have i don't know whether this stuff that's got like next outlet written on it is made for the outlet um which is at slightly lower prices than what it would be in a next store i think but it's still 11 quid for a t-shirt i would have thought that's how much it is in next no don't know um shirts and things like this is 14 pound these are 12 pound which is a bit cheaper than what prices in next are but they've also got Oh, this was a really nice shirt, actually. I quite like that. It's giving me ice cream truck um, in that, like, salmon-y colour. Um, and they've got, like, basic stuff, basically, um, at OK prices. I would have thought this was, like, next kind of prices anyway, but the things have gone up in the world, haven't they? Um, but, yeah, that's what they've got here. They've also got Gap Outlet in next now because you know gap owns like the licensing in the uk for gap or next owns the gap licensing in the uk so they've got some gap outlet things here which i don't know if these are just made to be in like a gap outlet for next if you know what i mean they used to have a gap outlet in clark's village there used to be a lot of gap outlets in the uk they all shut down when gap left but then when next bought the rights to gap they seem to have them in the next outlets now, so one to look out for there. They also, this I think I um, I actually saw in the actual stores, and that is really nice. Um, but there's, within next outlet, they've also got this, like, next sale section, which seems to be stuff not made for outlet, stuff that would have been in the stores, if that makes sense, if the other stuff is made for outlet. Please let me know down below if you know, but this is where they've got... Because they've all just got like odds and ends in here, which is what I thought the whole outlet would be. I have been in a Next Outlet before. Um, whereas they seem to have lots of different sizes in the ones that are labelled with Next Outlet, where this isn't labelled Next Outlet. This seems to be in 
what was in the store. If that makes any sense, in like a full price store, that makes any sense. They had lots of nice jumpers. I did have some things on my hand, but I actually decided not to buy them. I know, shocker. I had some self restraint for once in my life. I did not like these. These were like shirt under a jumper but like built in and stuff but yeah next we went into crew clothing you can kind of just see it there crew clothing company um they had a lot of basics as in basics in here quite nice basics crew clothing company it's got some nice it's quality stuff really and um, they do sell it in tk Maxx now as well um but not huge discounts on lots of things um this one was like the cheapest thing in the shop it was nine pound but it's a bit too loud for me. Um, other than that, they're £20 for their polo shirts and stuff like that. Um, T-shirt wise, they were a bit cheaper. Um, that was, yeah, oh, that one was really nice actually, £13 for that. It's a little bit cheaper. Well, it says it was originally 25 and this one was really nice, 25 but then down to 14 Um so yeah, lots of nice stripe stuff and they're just basically basic stuff which has a little bit of their logo on if you're not familiar with crew clothing. It's a bit nautical vibe. I can imagine someone trying to emulate going on a yacht kind of vibe with crew clothing. I don't know if they have the money to go on a yacht, but they also seem to have, I don't know, this stuff didn't seem to be discounted unless this was, I don't understand the pricing basically, that's what I'm trying to say. These shirts were actually reasonably priced um, £26 is not too bad to be honest um, and they had some jackets and stuff as well but it was hot I was not interested I did try a few well this thing on um, which is a really nice like a half zip quarter zip of course I'm gonna like that and it's striped as well moving on now we're going in Ben Sherman which I was a little bit disappointed at because I thought it would be cheaper than what it was but there you go um, they had some deals in there, like two shirts for £70, but I was looking at like shirts wanting to be like 15 at the max, so I swiftly moved on from there. Next store we went into was White Stuff, which again, similar to like Crew, Fat Face, those kind of brands, they had a lot of those here. Um, this is kind of the prices, they had lots of quarter zip and half zips in here, which it's a running theme in my videos. This was a really nice colour. This is like my favourite colour. They had that in a quarter zip. And they also had a sale section within the outlet as well, if that makes sense. So like these were additionally reduced, if I can show you with the camera. Um, so like that went down to £10 for that t-shirt um, and stuff like that really. So additional money off on that, that kind of stuff. And they also had these, which were like a thin toweling material. Um, they were on sale for 25 um, Next we went in Timberland. Um, they have this in Bista Village, but I think this Timberland is actually bigger. Um, prices, I suppose, were all right. They had a lot of take additional 30% off, take additional 40% off the lowest ticket item, which did make things a bit cheaper. Like that was 50, you take 40% off 55 you do the math on that um, and that applied to a lot of things in there it would only be on the stuff that had like that hanging around the front so you had to kind of look for that um, but yeah they had some jackets and things how much was that I can't remember I don't think I even found the tag did I there we go hundred over a hundred pound for that the t-shirts were pretty reasonably priced I think from what I remember uh, well, 25, I suppose that's not overly reasonable, but for that kind of brand, I suppose that is what the given rate is for that. And they had lots of t-shirts and lots of different colors if you want the logo on. And if you want the classic boots, they kind of had a style of them here. Um, and that is how much you're going to pay for them. Next, we went into Fat Face, um, another one of those kind of brands that's kind of like down by the coast, kind of Cornwall kind of vibe. Um, and you're looking at like £29 for a sweatshirt jumper in here. Um, and they had obviously, not a half zip, but like a half button. And half zips as well, obviously. We need one of those. More, I obviously need more of those, not. Um, and yeah, so this is like, they had some Radley stuff in here, as in the bike brand. Um, and hoodies and stuff in here at £31. They also had some shirts which actually were reasonably nice, were really reasonably nice and reasonably well priced, £18, not too bad, and like £25 
for those, um, but I wasn't really in the market at the moment, like for another shirt. This was really nice, £25, but it was in like tall, so that's obviously not gonna fit me. They used to have a Calvin Klein, that shirt, Vans, North Face, they have those as well. And I can't go to Clark's Village without briefly showing you the inside of the Clark's store. Um, and then this was kind of the rest of the village, really. So, um, I would have done the voiceover because I can't exactly remember all the things that I did on that day, considering it was a week ago and I've had quite a week at work. Um, yeah, so Clark's Village, it's not particularly big. There's not an awful lot of stores there. Um, you've got some okay ones. It's very yummy mummy kind of vibe with like white stuff, fat face crew, um, that kind of level, Radley. Um, you have got Levi's, you have got a Jack Wills in there. I don't think I filmed in there, there was no one in there. Um, you've got, um, what other brands? Obviously Clark's. Clark's is the main attraction there. They've got a massive Clark's outlet store or factory store there because Clark's headquarters is in Street. I believe that's where it came from. Not 100% sure. But, um, yeah, that is where the headquarters is and that is where, like, the distribution centre is. Like, they've got a big thing there that's why it is Clark's Village basically but I'll leave the link down below to Clark's Village if you want to have a little read around what they actually do and how it started and what have you um I've always known about Clark's Village um because I like that kind of thing so it has it's not been on my radar it's not somewhere I particularly want to go to but we went I was near it I thought let's go there um for a morning to see what they've got um the and it has like it's basically high street stores really they did at one point have calvin klein and tommy hilfiger but they're no longer there they have got like north face and vans and things like that and timberland but none of the like designer shops like burberry gucci or anything like that it hasn't got a mulberry mulberry's headquarters is actually down the road in shepton mallet which is probably about 15 minutes from wells as well which they do have a outlet center there as well a very small outlet center got a few shops and also a um mulberry factory store which i didn't go to but yes i did pick up something though while i was there in crew clothing crew clothing is not a brand that i've ever bought from before i have looked in there a few well ish once properly i think um they used to they had it must have been like a pop-up store they very briefly had a store in milton Keynes. i went in it that was like la end of last year beginning of this year and then it's gone um it's kind of, I find the brand of it is geared to a bit older than me, but I will be in my 30s soon. So, yes. Um, but I did really like this. It's quite, a th I don't know how to describe the material of it. So I don't know how I'm going to best display it. So apparently this was originally, has it got the original original? Yeah, so originally, originally, this would have been fifth, I think originally, originally. I'm guessing it's originally, originally. It says it was £59. According to this, it went down to 35 and then was 20 Um. So, yeah, but basically it is this kind of... It's kind of a rugby shirt material, but in a half... In a quarter half zip. You know, I'm a hoe for a half zip. Um, and it's got a quarter zip. It's quarter zip, really, isn't it? But... Yeah, I thought this, they only, they only had it in like a small and then a large and I didn't want it to be over oversized. So I got it in a small and as you had seen from the clips, it is okay. I didn't want it to be super oversized and baggy. Um, but yeah, I don't know, something about it I just really like. It's like a really textured material. I really don't know how to describe it. I, it, I think it would feel like a proper rugby shirt, how a proper one feels. It feels like that, like really rough and textured, um, but in a quarter zip, oh, yeah, quarter zip kind of style. You've got the, let me just do that up again because it's just going to flop everywhere. You've got the little logo there for crew, um, and then that is how much it says it was. So I believe it would have been £59 originally. So basically £60 and then went down to £20. So basically £30 off, which is a good price, um, I think. And I really like it. That is the only thing I bought on this trip. And for me, that is quite shocking. And it is actually really nice. It's not fleece lined, fleece lined, but it's got a fairly nice feeling inside. Um, it's not going to be too heavy. Although I wouldn't wear it now. 
well, I wouldn't wear it today anyway because it's well way too hot. But yeah, I think that would be really nice. I feel like it's something like my dad would typically wear, but I kind of like that. I kind of like it. It's really nice. It's just basically stripes in a quarter zip. Quarter zip slash half zip. Like, what is there not to like? So, there we go. I will show you the clips again, probably, as I'm talking to you. Oh, it's got, like, ventilation underneath the underarms as well. That's fun. Um, I'll probably show you those clips again because... There you go. But, yeah, that is what I got. That's what my thoughts are on Clark's Village. It's okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. I do want to go to Ashford at some point, Ashford Designer Outlet. And I ne we nearly, when I was driving home, because we had to go on the M4. I think it's the M4. That's the one that goes to Wales, right? Um, or is that the M3? Or is the M3 that goes down to Southampton? I cannot remember. Um, we went past Swindon, basically, and they've got a MacArthur Glen there. Did half think about going there, but it was a Sunday when we are driving home and was like, not really into that vibe today thank you plus i was starting to feel ill that was when i was getting the hay fever literally attacked me um but yeah i do want to go to the one in ashford because they've got like for perry and stuff like that there so that would be really nice and the only other one i've been to is cheshire oaks um actually that's a lie i've been to your designer outlet as well many moons ago those two um but yes that is my little Paul and come shop with me around Clarks Village. Let me know down below if you've ever been to Clarks Village. Actually, I've been to Gumball Keys several times as well. Or at least twice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let me know down below if you have been to... Also on my list, I've just remembered Icon Outlet in the O2. I want to go there as well. I might go there pretty soon, actually. Um, but, yeah, anyway... Wrapping up this video now, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not ready. If you like these come shop with me's and stuff like that, then definitely subscribe and ring my bell to be notified of all of my videos. God, talking too quick. And um, also follow my Instagrams, which are always linked down below as well. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.